it's not about even surfing anymore. Like actual, like the riding of the wave is like such a small part of it. It's everything leading up to it. You spend 45 minutes trying to paddle out and you can't even get out. Or, but for me, it's about the experience. It's about all of it. It's not about the performance and uh, what you do on the wave. Um, it's more like, a, it more feels like a relationship. It's like a very deep interaction. Out here, sometimes I find myself like turning around and not even looking at the waves and just looking up at the hills. <laughs> We're all totally dependent on the earth, like everything, <laughs> you know, everything we do, every breath we take. Is, we as a culture don't really um, appreciate it to the fullest extent. Living out here, I feel like I have a closer relationship with the earth, with elements, with my resources. Well, right now we're like moving into winter, so weeds are taking over. There's tomatoes over there. Got a bed of kale right here. When I grow my own food and eat it, I realize immediately I'm eating slower. I'm chewing slower. I'm like savoring it, because like it took a lot of work to produce whatever that was, a tomato or kale or potato. The yurt was slightly spontaneous. Uh, I think it has to do with it being circular. I think I really like circular spaces. So I just built the deck and, and put up the yurt and it only takes, you know, that only takes like a week or so to accomplish. The yurt is from Pacific Yurt Company. It's 20 foot. I just got this finished like a week ago. It's just a simple wood burning stove with a hot plate on top. Good little mini smallest desk I've ever seen. <laughs> it's, a good, uh, it's a good writing space. Got a few records and record player and then the, the Yeti generator runs all these lights, provides everything I need for the, for the yurt. And then it's hooked up to two um, 90 watt panels that are out in the field. playing music or having friends over. There's something about having a, a circular space rather than boxes. And for me, it was to keep it really a space that was very simple and not building or taking or using more than I needed. The yurt that I got came with a vinyl um, rain catchment. It just comes out of this vinyl into this PVC. This one's a 300 gallon tank and then there's a 500 gallon on the other side. This separates your pee and your solid waste. You pee into there and it goes into there. Your pee is rich in nitrogen, so it's good to water. Use that to water plants. It's cold if you wake up to make a dirt in the morning. <laughs> Go like this to warm up the seat. <laughs> That's what I do. I came up here first to um, to surf, to explore some of this coastline. Not having this romantic idea of being off the grid and self-sufficient, but experimenting in it and pushing my comfort level and trying to acquire new skills and trades and understand what it truly takes to, um, to live and to support oneself. <laughs> 